Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, got another vintage collection, technically, I guess, kind of review here. Again, we're going with the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm and they have dropped three figures from the Star Wars droids cartoon, The Adventures of R2 and 3PO. We have Boba Fett here. Um, this one is obviously the most sought after of the three and therefore it is the hardest to get. So the moment I saw it, I had to, I had to grab two. You know, it's just had to. <laughs> it just makes sense. Um, you know, I'm going to keep one carded for my Boba Fett shelf eventually when I get that set back up again. Um, so yeah, I've got one open. Um, and I kept a nice minty sample for myself. The card stocks definitely in increased in thickness and quality. You know, we've got the uh, usual sort of mumbo jumbo safety stuff for a figure on the back half of the bottom. We've got the other two figures up there. I'm not sure if I'll pick them up. They seem to be pretty plenty for the moment. Um, I may pick them up if they if they have a sale or something like that, but. We have seen a Boba Fett released in this style back in the 30th anniversary collection. It was the animated debut. Unfortunately, they didn't include the weapon that he came with in the holiday special, but that's okay. Because they've got a nice piece of artwork here and the figure matches that. The bonus thing is, it is a repaint of the most recent Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, so it's an absolutely fantastic uh, version of Boba Fett. Uh, simple colors, looks nice. Packaging, you got the uh, jetpack and his blaster in a separate tray behind the figure there. And at the top here, we have the coin, which I'll give you a look at that loose in just a moment. So we'll put that aside. I'll give it another little spin. And then we'll take a look at the loose figure. Right here we have the figure and the collector coin. So this is pretty cool. We'll take a quick look at the coin. So we can put that aside. So you've got there Boba Fett, Bounty Hunter. Let's try and flip that around a little bit. It's really nice. Sort of ridges on the edge. And on the back we have a little write up with the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm. May the force be with you. It says the most notorious bounty hunter in the galaxy, Boba Fett tracks Han Solo and returns him to Jabba the Hutt for bounty. Hello there, you can see my reflection. All right, let's take a look at this pretty damn cool figure. So I did review the six inch version. Um, about a month ago, I think, three, four weeks ago, so you can jump back and have a look at the uh, the six inch version of this that they did. And uh, so uh, from this point, I'm saying this one is far superior. It's, it's a better figure, um, which has bro for the six inch. They decided to use the old Empire Strikes Back one while, rather than the uh, more updated Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. Um, but they have decided to do that with the three and three quarter inch one here. So. I'm not sure what's going on in the decision-making department there, <laughs> um, but I'm sure there's a reason. But I just, I just think this figure looks great. Um, be very tempted when I get to it again is taking the uh, the sort of the bigger rifle spear weapon that he uses um, in the animated debut um, from the old Boba Fett and switching it out with the blaster. So this one can have the uh, the cooler weapon. Not that his blaster is not cool, but you know what I mean. So yeah, really nice color scheme. I think they've done a good job with the paint. I like the blues and the tans, the sort of yellowy color, yellowy tan color, it kind of looks good. And the sort of cream color on the jet pack. Only one solid color. I like that they've given him, still given him the same Different color, but the same sort of template of the uh, soft goods there, so that's really nice. 
So I'm really impressed with what Hasbro's done here, actually. it's I was expecting them to use the uh, the old Boba Fett that they've been using for years and just put the same figure out from, you know, 2007. But uh, they haven't. They've, they've done well. The good articulation, good posability, looks good. I'm, 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 I'm a fan. Just trying to pose him up so I can give him a spin. And hopefully he doesn't fall over halfway through. <laughs> it didn't even make it halfway. That's okay, I'll do it the old school way and just hold it and spin him around. So yeah, really nicely done. I, I do dig this figure a lot. Yeah, Blast is cast in a almost like a really dark blue, uh, a lot like the old Kenner weapons, to be honest. Some of them were cast in a real sort of real deep blue color, so it's that's definitely picked up on this. You can see there's the uh, head underneath, but fantastic head, head sculpt for the helmet here. Really nicely done. So I'm digging it. I don't really have anything else to say about it. I think I've gone through pretty much everything. Um, you know, they've kept the paint details pretty simple. There's no sort of extra silvers and bits and pieces like that. They've kept it pretty simple, sort of vintage style um, based on the artwork. So I think it's worked out reasonably well. I'm pretty happy with this one. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Please sound out down below. That would be rad to hear from you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be back hopefully in the next couple of days. I'm expecting a couple of things on the way, and I might mix it up with some non Star Wars stuff. I did put out a little call on my Instagram, and uh, yeah, a few people said they'd be interested to see some other stuff. So let's get into it, let's have some fun. Um, particularly while there's a little bit of a lull between the, the Star Wars stuff for me at the moment, but uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always.